tick tock. You're on the clock, says the Senate. Voting in favor of either forcing TikTok to be sold away from the Chinese run company that runs it, or in six months, the app would have to be banned in the United States. Uh, President Biden expected to sign that today. That's part of the whole, like, also funding Ukraine and a whole bunch of other things bill that's being signed. It's so, like, that's happening. Yeah, uh, I don't know. From what I understand, they're just saying it's because they have all of our information. Everything has our information. I, I just say it all the time. But and they're just saying that China is the bad actor that has our information. But Mark Zuckerberg... I'm sure there's bad actors here. Yeah, there are. Mm -hmm. Mark Zuckerberg, totally fine. You know, I'm, I'm not saying that we shouldn't... Uh, yeah, I'm not saying guarded. get rid of it or not, to be honest. I, uh, I'm on Instagram the most not really Facebook anymore and TikTok every, for some recipes maybe, but I don't know. I, I don't mind it. Yeah, I, from what I've read at least, and I'm not sure if it's the truth, but that like American TikTok is a lot more like terrible for the brain than Chinese TikTok. I pro I believe it. Yeah, that the <laughs> algorithm is kind of here to rot our brains, mm -hmm. which is why you hear another you know TikTok challenge of yeah. a child saying, okay, it's a TikTok challenge where you try to swallow a knife. Mm -hmm. It's called the knife challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's all over TikTok. Yeah. So I don't know, whatever the case, I don't use TikTok and I'm sick of them asking to link with my Facebook friends. So uh, goodbye. Uh, and a huge win for the worker. I love this. Ladies and gentlemen, the Federal Trade Commission has approved a rule banning non-compete clauses. Crazy. This is so big. Now, in our industry, huge. Yeah. And in several under, uh, other industries as well, the whole idea, if you haven't had a non-compete clause, is say, hey, if you leave your job, if you go to get another job, if we lay you off, if we fire you, you can't work in mm -hmm. this field for an, a, a, a within X amount of miles of yep. this location or maybe just in the country for months yep. or a year or more. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. It's part of why when I left the other place and I came here, I just set out for six months. Mm -hmm. You're trying to figure out how to insure your family. Yeah. You're trying to figure out how to put uh, food on the table, how to keep the the house. Yeah, it's insane. It's and unbelievable. And Nevada is the right to work state, but it still doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter because for whatever reason, the state doesn't allow you to say no to the non-competes. Although they did change the rule here where if you are laid off and there was a non-compete, they have to pay you your full salary and benefits for the amount of the non-compete, which it's amazing how quickly the non-compete goes away mm -hmm. when that occurs. Yeah. Uh, there are legal challenges that are expected in this, but it would have take effect in September uh, if, if this actually goes through. Mm -hmm. Expect, of course, uh, for big wigs with oh, yeah. cigars in their mouths, like, wait a second, not a snow. Yeah. The worker can't be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, they'll be uh, they'll be in court about that, I'm sure. Mojave Max emerged from his borough yesterday at 3.09 p.m. That's the second latest in history. Last year was the latest in history when he came out today mm -hmm. on April 24th last year. Um, yeah, Mojave Max just kind of like, you know, hanging oh, yeah. on the borough a little longer. You do hear about uh, climate change. Mm -hmm. I, I, think, I just think it's really pronounced on the polls. And here it's like, oh, wow, it's staying a little cooler a little Yeah, later. We, we love it. Uh, big fan. <laughs> yeah, Super but important. I just, I felt like when it was in the 90s the, for, for Saturday, Sunday, I'm like, whoo, I'm definitely not ready for this. Nope. Definitely not ready for it. You don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> CCSD entered the school year with 1,131 teacher vacancies. Well, they had in most of the school year to, to, to address this. How are they now? They increased by 190. Uh, yeah, so now the teachers union, they, they, they said this is probably due to, among other things, like long and drawn out contract negotiations yeah. that didn't help with retention. Right. So the district is about to declare a critical labor shortage. We declare our labor shortage critical, mm -hmm. which means they can hire retired teachers. Why can't they hire retired teachers? Anyways, the declaration? right. I think it has probably something to do with pension or something like that, Maybe. but whatever the case, uh, yeah, they're going to be, um, they're going to be pulling the critical labor shortage card, Gosh. which of course is my favorite card in Uno.
<laughs> Dwayne Keith D. Davis, the man being tried in the Tupac murder case, back in court yesterday for a status check. The discovery phase ongoing, nearing a conclusion. The trial set to start in November. His lawyer says his own client's words in his own book about being a party to the shooting that killed the rapper in 1996 are fiction and not enough proof. Wow. I mean, you do have to have a little more proof than that. Mm -hmm. I, I think. Yeah. I mean. Something. Like It's like OJ's book, right? But actually... That wasn't the same because he wrote it after he was already found, right? He was already, yeah. But I, I, found I, not guilty. But in D Dwayne Keith D. Davis's situation, I believe he had an immunity thing with the LAPD. Oh, right, right, but right. But this isn't the, or I think it was LAPD with an interview with them. But then it was like, I don't know, whatever the case is, he's <laughs> still being awaiting trial. Crazy. So didn't work out for him. Here's a rare win. It appears as though car thefts are down in the Valley. Metro says that auto thefts down around 18% compared to this time in 2023. It has a lot to do with Kia and Hyundai software updates. Um, you know, those are down and then pedestrian and, uh, you know, uh, driver deaths are up. Mm -hmm. Slow down. Mm -hmm. According to research from UNLV, the number of Californians moving to the Valley jumped around 19,000 in 2020 to 30,000 in 2021. But research Gosh. shows it's starting to slow. 2023 numbers down to just 24,000, wow. which is, hey, on our way. Mm -hmm. All right, Californians, well, listen, we, we, we do love you. However, um, enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just for a little bit. They think the reason why is because of the, uh, the, the, it's the rates. You know, it's yeah. a little too expensive to buy a house right now. They might be in a place that's down there where, yeah, it's expensive, but it's too expensive to move here quite yet. So yeah. we will see. And, oh, this is a sad, sad news. And also it means we have a chance, everyone. Las Vegas' sports royal family for about a week. <laughs> Las Vegas Aces star Kelsey Plum and Raiders tight end Darren Waller wed in March of last year. Only a couple weeks later, Darren traded to the New York Giants. 13 months later, the two have filed for divorce. Yeah. Kelsey ironically saying deuces in a statement on social saying, I'm devastated. I walked through the fire for that man, but it's time to go. And she'll tell her story, but not now. Yeah, I... Okay. Noticed he has he has some some um, issues that he deals with and he's very vocal about them. Yeah. I think he's a really amazing person. I've been watching him. I, I follow both of them on Instagram and I just noticed like probably a week and a half ago I went scrolling through like psycho that I am, and I'm like, wow, there are no more pictures of her. I wonder if they're still together. Oh. And then honestly, yesterday I was like, I called it. You could have no, you should have called it. You could have had the breaking exclusive. Breaking news. I know. Gosh. My goodness. But that is sad. I really like them as a couple, and they would have had super athletic babies. Oh, my, the most athletic Gosh. Babies. Although I'm glad there are none involved now. Yeah. Story at 1027VGS.com. The All Vegas Golden Knights looking to get a two game lead in round one of the Stanley Cup Finals game two tonight in Dallas. There's going to be a watch party happening over at the Lee's Family Forum. That is tonight, doors at 5 30, game at 6 30. Las Vegas Aviators kicking off their six game series in Sacramento, and, um, you may remember last Tuesday, uh, they lost to Tacoma 14-0. Uh, this time, they lost in Sacramento 14-1. Uh, That's a one yeah. run improvement. That's pretty good. Uh, next game is game two of six, and that is tonight. Las Vegas weather. It's currently 61 degrees. It's a high of 82. Going to be windy about 5 o'clock this afternoon because it's going to go down to the 60s oh, wow. by Thursday, Friday. <laughs> 